whole time they wanna take my place. Whole time they wanna take my place. <laughs> What's good? I am back again with another what I eat in a day video, only this time I'm making some really, really <laughs> easy and healthy Asian inspired dishes. Please keep in mind that these are in no way authentic at all, but they are inspired by them. I always take traditional recipes and kind of alter them to fit my own personal taste and like whatever I have in my kitchen at the time. But most of all, I alter them because I'm lazy. <laughs> so this is really good for people who are busy, people who are students, or people who are just lazy, you know? Just, just keeping it real. Listen, ain't nobody got time to be making no homemade broth. It, like, it's just not gonna happen for me. It's just not. But as always, everything is still pretty much healthy no matter how easy it is. So I'm going to be making a chia seed pudding for breakfast, a pho but not really type of situation for lunch and for dinner I'm making one of my favorite Filipino dishes to make, chicken tinola. So this video is in collaboration with a company called Thrive Market which is an online store that sells like healthy, organic, like it's kind of like a Whole Foods just not as expensive. <laughs> Listen, I have a huge love-hate relationship with Whole Foods because I love the like variety of foods, like healthy foods that they sell, but the prices, not so much. You guys should know by now that I never partner with companies, brands, or products that I don't absolutely love or support. So one of the biggest reasons why I chose to partner with Thrive Market is because on top of all the personal benefits, like you know the huge discounts and whatnot, I just really love what the company stands for. So if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I'm super passionate about social issues and one of the issues that I'm really passionate about is access to healthy foods for everyone. Nearly 24 million Americans live in a food desert right now, which basically means that they have a very limited access to a grocery store. And I'm just talking about like a regular grocery store, I'm not even talking about like healthy food and convenience stores actually are considered under the grocery store category. It's ridiculous, I know. So the reason why I love health food stores like Whole Foods is that there's a certain standard of quality that all the products that they sell have to live by. So like most of the things at Whole Foods are like healthy, organic, grass-fed, non-GMO, vegan, gluten-free, paleo, like whatever, like all these things. Number one, they are ridiculous ridiculously overpriced and number two you're just not gonna find that type of healthy food at a regular grocery store like Kroger's or whatever. I believe that everyone has a right to healthy nutrient-dense foods not only people that live in a certain tax bracket or zip code. I think that's ridiculous. Honestly. So not only does Thrive Market provide access to healthier foods at like 25 to 50 percent off of retail price and they deliver everything to your door but for every paid membership, they actually donate a membership to a low-income family, a veteran, or a teacher, and that is something that I fully support. So you can check out the link in the description box down below to get 25% off of your first box of healthy groceries, plus they go hook you up with some free shipping, girl. It's true. So make sure that you check all of that info down below. And with all of that being said, let's get started with the video. <laughs> so here are the items that I ordered to make some of my food for the week. Everything was under $25, and if you ever shopped at Whole Foods, you know that this could have easily been at least 50 bucks. So a Thrive Market membership is only $60 for the entire year, but you could literally make that $60 back just from saving money from your orders because things are so discounted. So you can still get your health on while saving money, girlies. Oh, okay, actually, I need to tell you this story. Okay, so one time I went to Whole Foods to buy Lara bars, and they wanted to charge me $3 per bar, and I was like, um, no. <laughs> so I think it was yesterday I checked on Thrive Market to see how much it would cost, and Thrive Market actually sells those for $1 each in a box of, like, 16 Like, that is literally more than half off, but, you know, I digress. So for breakfast, I'm going to be making a chia seed pudding. I'm adding one half cup of chia seeds, 
one cup of almond milk. And I decided that wasn't enough, so I'm adding like another one fourth cup. <laughs> And then I'm adding some cacao powder that I got from Thrive Market. I don't know why this stuff is so difficult to stir into like liquids, but it's gonna take you guys some time. I like using a fork instead of a spoon just because I feel like whisking it is easier that way. But yeah, I literally did this for like an entire three minutes. <laughs> like it's, it's really intense, cacao powder. And then I'm adding one, nope, I'm adding two teaspoons of maple syrup. Oh no, I am going back in for another one. I'm adding three, actually. Gotta get this sweetened, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm whisking, whisking, whisking to get like this nice pudding consistency. And then you're going to cover it with saran wrap and leave it in the fridge either overnight or if you're doing it the morning of, make sure that it's in the fridge for at least an hour. So now you're gonna take it out, unwrap it. I, I like adding bananas to mine just because I feel like bananas and cacao or chocolate go really well together. And also adding some blueberry, ooh, the one that got away. And then I'm adding some coconut flakes. A lot of people don't like coconut and it's like, why don't you love yourself? I don't know, I love coconuts. So there you have it, kids, a delicious, and nutritious chia seed pudding with cacao powder and lots of delicious fruit. So for a snack, I'm making an acai smoothie, which if you're a viewer of my channel, you know is my absolute fave. So I'm taking these two smoothie packs, I always use two, and you're gonna wanna break these up before you put them in your blender just to make it easier. Porque, like, why would you make your life more difficult, you know? like. Is unnecessary and then I'm adding half of a frozen banana just because that's all I had left and then I'm adding one fresh banana next I'm gonna add some frozen mango now if you don't have any frozen fruit you could just use ice cubes but I just like using frozen fruit because it just brings more flavor to the smoothie fill it up with some coconut water so then I'm just gonna whip out my Nutribullet Actually, if you're like single, like you only make food for yourself, I would highly recommend going for a Nutribullet over like a regular blender, just because it's so easy to clean. Like there's just one cup and one blade and that's literally all you have to clean. And I actually saw this on Thrive Market. I think it was like 30% off or something like that. Obviously I didn't buy it because I already have one, but if you're in the market for a new blender, I would recommend a Nutribullet. Ooh, look at that. Delicious and nutritious, looking like a snack. Thank you, I'll be here all night. So next I'm going to be making a pho type of situation. It's like pho, but not really. Pho pho, if you will. I promise I'll be here all night. So I'm just cooking these rice noodles as instructed on the box because we want to follow directions. And then I'm heating up one tablespoon of olive oil in a pan. And then I'm adding some minced ginger. And I'm using that chopped garlic that I got from Thrive Market. It's packaged, it's easy, because we all know how that went last time. And then you're just gonna, you know, sizzle that around for like, I don't know, a minute or something. And then I'm going to add, I think I added like five cups of chicken broth. Keep in mind, most of these ingredients are all, like I all got from Thrive Market. And then I'm adding one tablespoon of fish sauce or batis, if you're Filipino. So you get this nice broth that you didn't have to make overnight. <laughs> so now it's assembly time. So I'm gonna add my rice noodles. I'm gonna add this soup base. Look at that, it looks delicious. And then I'm gonna garnish it with some green onions and also some cilantro. And I'm actually really pissed about this because I had my bean sprouts on my counter, they were ready to go, and I just forgot <laughs> to add them. So if you're a fan of bean sprouts, you should add those. I'm taking half of a lime, squeeze it over. And then to make it Instagram worthy, I'm going to cut a slice of lime, cut it in half, and then I'm just gonna add it on just like this and there you have it girlies a delicious and nutritious and instagram worthy bowl of faux pho pho but not really 
So for my snack before dinner, I'm just having this beef jerky with like trail mix on the other side. It is so good. The saltiness of the jerky and that mixed with the like sweetness of the trail mix. It was delicious. This is my first time trying this, but it was really good. So I would highly recommend this. So for this dinner for chicken pinola, you're gonna need some fish sauce. You're gonna need some onions, preferably yellow onions, but I only had a red onion. Some bok choy, some minced ginger, and of course our chopped garlic. And also some chicken broth. I don't know why that wasn't in the shot. But anyway, I'm just heating up two tablespoons of olive oil, and then I'm adding my garlic, my onions, and my ginger. And then you're just gonna cook that up until fragrant for like, I don't know, 60 to 90 seconds or whatever. And then you're going to add le chicon, your manok, your chicken. These are boneless chicken thighs, and you're just gonna like, cook these until they're brown. You don't want to cook them all the way because you're still going to cook them in the broth. So I'm adding two cups of chicken broth and two cups of water to make the like kind of like broth soup base. And then I'm adding two tablespoons of fish sauce. And then you're just gonna bring that to a boil, let that chicken cook, you know what I'm saying? And then cover it up and let it cook for I don't know, until your chicken's cooked. I think this was like 10 minutes or something like that. I don't really know. <laughs> and then boom, look how delicious that is. Oh my gosh. Wow, I'm hungry just looking at this. And then you're gonna add your bok choy and you're pretty much done. You can add the green papaya like there is in traditional um, chicken tinola, but I mean, I didn't have any, so whatever. And actually I don't even like the way it tastes. But here we go, kids. Oh, look at that. Oh, looking so good. So, so good. So there you have it, girlies. Some super easy, super healthy, Asian-inspired dishes. Again, most of the ingredients that I used in this video are available on Thrive Market, and you can click the link below to get an extra 25% off plus free shipping right now, immediately. Go check it out in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more what I eat in a day videos. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!